Facebook friends. I uh, woke up feeling a little rough this morning. We had a very late night last night. Neil's men group, men's group ran till mm, way after 11 and we're normally in bed between 10 and 10.30. Ooh, deep secrets that let loose. Uh, anyway, so I was tempted to not even do a Facebook Live this morning. I really didn't know what I would talk about. I was still feeling sleepy and groggy. And as I considered not doing it, I remembered saying, see you tomorrow. And I realized I said I'd see you tomorrow. I better see you tomorrow, which is, of course, today. This is integrity. This is doing what I say and meaning what I say and living in this place of keeping my word as law. What I say I'm going to do, I will do. And I realized as I look around my life that this has become much more important to me these days. I started my new year off with making contacts that I said I would contact, taking care of little tasks that I had said that I would do and hadn't got to yet, leaving things undone, unfinished, leaves um, ugly energy that keeps a person dragged down, it keeps you from moving forward in the fullest, best way, undone, incomplete, unfulfilled promises do in fact sap your own energy. So it's in your own best interest to follow through and clean up, take care of those things that you said you would do, talk to the people you said you would talk to, deliver the messages that you said you'd deliver, forward on that article that you said you'd forward on, whatever it is. I'm a little hesitant this morning. My brain, as I said, is a little bit slow. But I know that this is really, really important. Being in integrity takes your life to a whole new level. And being in integrity is one of the very fundamental and foundational principles of being a Shindaoist, which I declared to our workshop attendees on Saturday that I am fully committed to. It has hit me at a really deep cellular level that I want to live the way of the heart. And I want to live the way of the heart by example, not just by words. I also want to speak about the way of the heart more often, more frequently, because I want the world to be filled with Shindaoists. What's a Shindaoist? Well, one who follows the path of living the way of the heart. Living the way of the heart means doing what your heart desires. Hello, Shelley Ann Phillips. So glad to see you this morning. Um, it means living with kindness and compassion. It means your word is law. It means living in integrity. It means living in a place of taking care, developing your body, inspiring your mind, opening your heart and elevating your spirit. I'm laughing now. My cat has just pulled a toy out of his basket that we were playing with earlier. Apparently he wasn't done playing. <laughs> um, where was I? Yes, what I was saying is that integrity is really important. And as I look around the world, I see a lot of people who make a lot of promises and then just don't follow up. It's like we say things way too lightly. Oh, yeah, we need to get together, but then don't do anything about contacting that person to get together. Oh, I should do this. I'm going to start going to the gym. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And we say it so lightly. Don't say it if you don't mean it. We talked about on Saturday this exercise of a uh, workshop that Neil went to where you had a little clicker, you know, one of those things where you go click, click to count things as they go by. Well, at this workshop, they were given 10,000 words. They had to click every time they spoke a word. And when your 10,000 words were up, you had to start paying for the use of words. I believe that if everybody carried that clicker, they'd be way more careful about what they're saying. They wouldn't say things lightly without meaning it. And so I invite you to carry your little Thanks for the like. I invite you to carry your little clicker through your day and really think about what you're saying. 
do you mean this? Are you just throwing out some words out of habit? Are you throwing out words lightly because you think it'll make the other person happy? Are you, hi Christina, so good to see you here this morning. Are you throwing out words just because, as I say, it's habit. You're trying to please someone else. You think it'll earn brownie points. Whatever the reason is, stop doing it. Mm. Did you ever see that Bob Newhart? Just stop it, just stop it. Well, this is my advice to you. Just stop it. Stop being out of integrity. Start doing what you'll say you do and mean what you say. Have meaningful conversations. Don't just blah, blah, blah for the sake of blah, blah, blah. There is, <laughs> hi, she says hi back. There, this is interesting, this whole idea of having people interact with you while you're talking about something. I get distracted looking at those little names coming up. And it's so fun to know that there's really people here live. Give me a thumbs up, people who are live. Yes, if you believe that being in integrity is something of value and something that elevates your life to a new level of being. I know it certainly has done that for me, and I'm grateful to the many teachers in my life. Oh, lots of likes, oh, and loves, I love hearts. The many teachers in my life who have brought forward the value of integrity. I give a special kudos. Thank you, thank you, Andrew Barber Starkey. Love you so much. I know very few people who live in integrity as much as that man does. And when I was part of his pro coach program several years ago, he really taught me what integrity really means. And he was a living example of someone who truly lives in integrity. I would trust that man with my life. He never said anything that he didn't mean. And he never said he would do anything that he didn't do. And I trust that he still lives that way. We sort of lost touch with each other which now I realize is kind of a sad thing. I think I might just send him an email with a thank you for that. How wonderful for somebody to get a thank you from someone years later saying, thank you, you made a difference in my life. I know it's happened to me, so I wanna share that with him. And I could invite you to do that today too. Think of someone who's made a difference in your life and just out of the blue, send them a thank you note. Even call them and say thank you. It will make their day, it will make your day and every time we feel good, we raise our vibration, we raise the vibration of the people around us, and life becomes a better place. So I am actually starting to wake up and I could go on for a long time, and I know the value of these messages is that if I keep them short, maybe you'll actually watch them. So I'm gonna log off here and remind you, carry integrity in your life. Um, express gratitude to those who've made a difference to you, and above all, create a joyful day. Namaste.